Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 4 with our random planet playthrough. You can see we've got 23 million credits currently on standby. We've done an excellent job at building up our credits, which is great. The planet's been paused for a little bit now because I just haven't had a chance to get back to it. But I did let it run for a full 24 hours just to see. And you can see that not a whole lot's really happened. We've decreased the temperature slightly. Pressure's gone up, we're almost at 10,000 um, 10, pascals, but we still need to get to 100,000, so we're one-tenth of the way there. And aside from that, uh, nothing else has really happened, but we've got water there ready to go, oxygen's ready to go. All right, so now that we have a little bit of an atmosphere, we could actually start increasing oxygen and water. If we wanted to, I don't think we do, but it is an option. So with 23 million credits, that opens up a lot of different uh, avenues. And one of those being that I'd like to go ahead and found my second city. So we could be set and ready to go for um, some future endeavors. And I think, let's see, actually before I found the second city, before I do that, let me go to research real quick. I, I know I want to get to Hab Domes. Well, we're still a little ways away from getting hab domes. Let's go ahead and start researching hab comple complexes, though. I know that's going to be right down, uh, right down the list of things we need, and uh, then we'll go ahead and found a new city. Okay, so let's get that started. We're gonna found it right over here, 14 kilometers above sea level. Uh, we're actually going to change the name of this. Let's go ahead and do that. Ugh. Trying to get the uh, name thing pop up. There we go. And we're going to call this one. Um, I think we'll call it oxygen. So this is personally my way of keeping track with what is where. So I can sort of babysit. Um the facilities that are going to operate. Like, so my main oxygen buildings are gonna go here. I'll have eventually a colony that's called pressure. We'll have water, we'll have um, temperature. And then those will be my four main colonies where I build those particular units. Um, I do this for myself. You obviously don't have to do it this way. You could do it however you uh, damn well please, whether you wanna role play more, whatever. For, on a strategic standpoint, this, way of doing things is just better for me. The main reason it is, is because if I go into, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna explain right now why I do this. If I go right here into oxygen, let's say pressure, and I go, I go down here and I go, oh my God, we have 100,000 and the goal is 100,000 and we're still growing and I need to turn something off. I can look over here and see, oh, at Founders, there's Thermal Dust plus four. And it will tell you what colony it's at. But if I organize it all, I automatically know going back, I can just go back. I know that if I go straight to, you know, say this is called pressure, I go straight there, I know I can just manage everything right there at that colony. That's just the way I like to do things. Sometimes if I have to do like an oxygen two or a pressure two, I'll do it, but. The Horizon Acquisitions Department has identified a promising startup in oxygen. They're recommending either investing in the company, which will cost 471,000 credits and generate 3,000 credits a minute, or a complete purchase of the company entirely, which will cost 10 million credits and generate 11,000 credits a minute. What should we do? Purchase the company. I'm willing to spend the 10 million, even though it's a large chunk, 11,000 credits a minute is a lot. So now if we go to income, we're generating 27,000 because oxygen is generating 11,000 credits a minute on top of everything else we have going on here, which I got to go back and revisit these mines, but that's pretty good. So in the long run, that costs us a lot. In the short term, it'll pay itself off. Um, how fast is it going to pay itself off? Oop. Let me see. I was going to pull the calculator up, but I'll just pull it up on my phone. So 11,000 credits a minute. So let's do this. So if I ran it for 20, 
four hours. There's 60 minutes in an hour, so that's 1,440 minutes. Times that by 11,000. So that's 15 million. So if I run it in 14, if I run it for 24 hours, it will uh, pay itself off and then some. So definitely worth investing in. That's gonna be very beneficial, especially this early on in the colony, it'll pay for itself in the long term. Nice. I like all these little new things that come up. These are fairly new. They weren't like that before. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and actually gonna start building up a little bit more HAB units. Just to get these colonies up and running a little bit better. I'll actually continue upgrading these. Eventually I will destroy these HAB units and replace them with HAB domes. But for now, we'll get them as well as we need them. Let's go to oxygen here. I don't think I can build anything oxygen related just yet. I can do pressure. We did get the Atmogen Suite. It does generate oxygen, but it also generates mainly pressure. So I would need a colony called pressure. So actually, why, instead of oxygen, why don't we have this be the pressure colony? That probably makes more sense. And we can put the Abingen Suite here. It will produce oxygen as well, but it'll produce plus 60 pressure, which is good. Eventually, I'll need a place that cancels out that oxygen. So we're gonna have to build another uh, facility anyways and call it oxygen so we can cancel that out. And we'll work on that, but it's not a big deal now. But that's definitely get another HAB unit going as well. And there we go. So those are set and ready. We've got our current outpost here still all running. Uh, because I've paused this, these still have some days on them. We could build another mine if we wanted to. Um, or I could build another outpost. And we could start searching for more minerals that way. Let's see. We've got 5 million left. How much is it to found a new? It's 2 million. So let's build another outpost. We'll put it right outside pressure here if I can. Closer I can get it, the better. Maybe up in this corner. 11 kilometers should be fine. And we'll start with car. Actually, start with the, you always start with the higher resource type. Because if I build a carbon plant here, and then later on I decide, okay, now I'm going to start building iron, and I grab iron and I realize that. Boom, there's a lot more iron up here. I can't build it to the carbon ones depleted. They all have to be built within a certain distance away from each other. So you always wanna start with the highest and then work your way down to the lowest. So that way you don't miss out on some sweet resources for your higher ones. See, so if I had built that carbon here, you can see there's a lot of iron here. If I had built that carbon here, we would have missed out on all this iron for a couple of days. We wouldn't have been able to access it. But because I didn't do that and I started with iron, I can um, build this and uh, get the funds a lot quicker for what it's worth. And this is worth almost a thousand credits a minute. That's pretty good. I thought I saw another high iron. There's another one right around here. It's not super high. But it's not bad. That's about the peak right there. So 200,000 credits, that's almost a thousand. Now we'll go back to carbon and we'll see if we find any really good carbon spots. So there's one right about here. Could have swore is better than that.
right there is pretty good. So we'll build that, almost 500. Okay, there's a good one there. See if there's any better ones. Not really looking like it. So we'll just throw it here. That's pretty good still. So what are we getting now? 30,000. That's pretty good. All right. So we should have a good amount of money when we come back. We're out of time anyways. I've done just about everything I can. We'll have to come back and see what the planet looks like. Maybe after a few hours, I might pop back in one more time and then probably give it another 24 hours. Let her run and see what we've got the next day. So I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>